Yes, it's been a long time. But I still remember every face. Do you remember your first? Of course, Your Grace. Who was it? That's Hiroshi. Never learnt the name. Mm. How do you do it? Lance through the heart. Quick one. Lucky for you. Kingslayer! Get it in here. So come on. We're telling war stories. Who was your first kill, not counting old men? One of the outlaws in the Brotherhood. I was there that day. You were only a squire, mm. 16 years old. You killed Sam and Toy with the counter repast. Best move I ever saw. Good fighter, Toy. But he lacked stamina. You're outlaw. Any last words? I cut his head off, so no. Hmm. If that's all, Your Grace. Does Sir Hugh have any family in the capital? No. I stood vigil for him myself last night. He had no one else. He'd never worn this armor before. Bad luck for him, going against the mountain. Who determines the draw? All the knights draw straws, Lord Star. Aye. But who holds the straws? You've done good work, sisters. Life is strange. Not so many years ago, we fought as enemies of the Trident. I'm glad we never met on the field, Sir Beriston. As is my wife. I don't think the widow's life would suit her. <laughs> you're too modest. I've seen you cut down a dozen great knights. My father once told me you were the best he'd ever seen. I never knew the man to be wrong about matters of combat. He was a fine man, your father. What the Mad King did to him was a terrible crime. That lad. He was a squire until a few months ago. How could he afford a new suit of armor? Perhaps Lord Aaron left him some money. <sighs> I hear the king wants to chance today. Yes, that will never happen. <laughs> Robert tends to do what he wants. If the king got what he wanted all the time, he'd still be fighting a damned rebellion. More wine, Your Grace. Oh, what was I saying? Simpler time? It was. It was. You're too young to remember. Wasn't it simpler, tell me? It was, Your Grace. The enemy was right there in the open, vicious as you like, all but sending you a bloody invitation. Nothing like today. <laughs> you ever fuck a Riverlands girl? Back in our day, you weren't a real man until you'd fucked one girl from each of the Seven Kingdoms and the Riverlands. We used to call it making the eight. Those were some lucky girls. You ever make the eight, Barristan? And I believe so, Your Grace. <laughs> Those were the days. Which days exactly? The ones where half of Westeros fought the other half and millions died? Or before that? When the Mad King slaughtered women and babies because the voices in his head told him they deserved it? Or way before that? When dragons burned whole cities to the ground? Easy, boy. You might be my brother, but you're speaking to the king. I suppose it was all rather heroic. If you were drunk enough and had some poor Riverlands whore to shove your prick inside and make the eight. More wine, Your Grace.
Give him milk of the poppy. He was reading from the wine. He commanded us to step aside, but I failed him. No man could have protected him from himself. I wonder, Sir Barristan, who gave the king this wine? His squire, from the king's own skin. His squire? The Lannister boy. Such a dutiful boy to make sure his grace did not lack refreshment. I do hope the poor lad does not blame himself. All hail his grace, Joffrey of Houses Baratheon and Lannister, the first of his name. King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. I command the council to make all necessary arrangements for my coronation. I wish to be crowned within the fortnight. Today I shall accept oaths of fealty from my loyal councillors. Sir Barristan, I believe no man here could ever question your honour. King Robert's seal, unbroken. Lord Eddard Stark is herein named protector of the realm, to rule as regent until the heir come of age. May I see that letter, Sir Barristan? of the realm. Is this meant to be your shield, Lord Stark? A piece of paper. Those were the king's words. We have a new king now. Lord Eddard, when we last spoke, you offered me some counsel. Allow me to return the courtesy. Bend the knee, my lord. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son. And we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Your son has no claim to the throne. <laughs> Liar! You condemn yourself with your own mouth, Lord Stark. Sir Barristan sees this traitor. Sir Barristan is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. You think he stands alone? Them, I command it! Commander! Take the Queen and her children into custody. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there, under guard. Men of the watch! <laughs> Sir Barristan Selmy. Your Grace, I have yours to command. Rise, Sir Barristan. You may remove your helm. You have served the realm long and faithfully. Every man and woman in the Seven Kingdoms owes you thanks. But it is time to put aside your armor and your sword. It is time to rest and look back with pride on your many years of service. Your Grace, the King's Guard is a sworn brotherhood. Our vows are taken for life. Only death relieves us of our sacred trust. Whose death, Sir Barristan? Yours or your king's? You let my father die. You're too old to protect anybody. Your Grace. The Council has determined that Sir Jamie Lannister will take your place as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. 
The man who profaned his blade with the blood of the king he had sworn to defend. Careful, sir. We have nothing but gratitude for your long service, good sir. You shall be given a stout keep beside the sea, with servants to look after your every need. A hall to die in, and men to bury me. I am a knight. I shall die a knight. A naked knight, apparently. <laughs> Even now, I could cut through the five of you like carving a cake. Here, boy. Melt it down and add it to the others. <laughs> <laughs> 